But he thought there was no way that could be because everything he'd learned in his scientific training said that if you were to put two males nearby each other... There is going to be trouble. They were said to squawk and claw so viciously, it sometimes resulted in death. That's how territorial they are. And this reputation for do-or-die aggression is one of the main reasons the founding fathers chose the bald eagle as America's national symbol back in 1782. artist who's indigenous, native to this land, and he says that his ancestors from the Oglala Lakota and Diné tribes had admired the bald eagle long before the founding fathers showed up. The eagle, to us, is very sacred. Though, for slightly different reasons. It's the highest in the sky. It's the closest to creator. It was seen as a messenger between worlds and a healer. We carry eagle feathers that can help in healing ceremonies. They take a lot of our illnesses away. Now, the Founding Fathers weren't as focused on the potential healing in the feathers as they were in the potential fight in the talons. So they began carving images of the bird on swords and battleships to warn the world that they were not afraid to fight to the death to protect their newly claimed territory. 